wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. The Old Testament describes the second coming as a day of wrath for sinners, a day of trouble and distress, a day of desolation, a day of thick clouds and darkness. It does not say anything about the event being hidden from the wicked. Here's another verse in Isaiah chapter 13 on what the Old Testament calls the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land a desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible.